Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about um, this article I read in The New Yorker. Um, it's called Crossroads. A scholar of the plague thinks that pandemics wreak havoc and open minds. Um, written by Lawrence Wright. Um, I just found a lot of cool things in this article that, um, seem to resonate with me. Um, so, he talks about, uh, how during the bubonic plague, uh, it was actually like a good time for artisans because, um, well, the labor force was low and so, um, the working class got paid better and, um, this one, well, he was a poet and his name was, um, His name was Petrarch. I've never heard of him, but um, he was an Italian poet and scholar. And um, I don't know if he was unknown at the time, but uh, he, um, what he did was uh, when everybody was you know, facing the chaos, uh, he went into the cathedral and he found these old documents, um, that were long forgotten from the writer Cicero, and he was like, wow, Cicero lived at a time where things weren't as bad, and, um, I guess he just saw this, uh, poet guy saw that, um, uh, he was kind of, it opened his eyes to the things he didn't like that were going on, um, in his society. Um, and so, I guess according to the, the guy who wrote this article, um, Petrarch was like one of the first guys who, um, by you know, finding these ancient, not ancient, but, you know, old texts, um, he, like, kind of spurned the movement, and all these other people, like, you know, Michelangelo and stuff were influenced into, uh, I guess, the Renaissance, so they went from the Dark Ages to the Renaissance, and, um, yeah, this, this guy, this artist guy who, um, was just, you know, dusting off some documents in an old cathedral, was like, yeah, times were pretty good back then, and kind of gave rise to a movement all his own. And, um, I just thought that was neat, because I feel very similar to that, um, as sort of like a person just um, looking for when times were better and um, they say in this article that one good thing um, you know about the pandemic is how it's like briefly cleaned up the environment and um, rivers are actually running cleaner, animals are coming out, um, so it says that we're more in harmony, balance with nature right now, and I think that's true, and, um, 
it means that it is possible like for us to create change to uh, make the environment better hopefully not with a pandem another pandemic but you know it just shows that it is possible and um, it's kind of a weird correlation maybe but it seems like being authentic um, like when people are authentic like this you know this poet guy he um, was obsessed with Cicero and um, probably Pliny the Elder um, and their view of nature and society and um, I'm obsessed with ancient myth, Irish myth in particular, and um, I don't know, I just think that if people followed the, the naturalness in them to what they, even though it's weird maybe, or um, you know, off the beaten path, uh, to go after, um, you know, what their heart calls them to go after, um, it just seems like it's like a ripple effect, and then more and more people do what they feel is authentic, and, uh, maybe they won't watch as much true crime, um, or, you know, pollute as much because they're just concentrating on their goals. Just some thoughts. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Love ya. Bye.